Hey guys, it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here and you have never seen my channel, hey, welcome to the Fit Fam. My name's Fit Sid. Let's get into this video. So if you guys are interested in becoming a bikini barista yourself, then I have a whole video about like the interview process and now I'm telling you my full experience. So I'll have that link down below if you're interested in watching that after or now. But with that being said, I was a bikini barista for a few months. I have never done a job that's like in a corporation or a franchise with like multiple locations and stuff because policies are so different. Like I've had other jobs, I've had a lot of you guys, like I don't know why, but a lot of people, they watched that video and they assumed that I'd never worked before. And I meant in that video about the interview that I've never had like an actual interview and I've never had a job that was working in that sense. Um, I was a nanny for a long time and like being a nanny is completely different than being a bikini barista and like working with like a ton of different people and having like policies and like rules in place whereas like being a nanny like you have rules but it's a completely different atmosphere and like the paycheck system is different because it's like one person paying you rather than like multiple piece of people and managers so I just want to get that out there like I've had other jobs before but that was my first interview where it wasn't like a like when I was a nanny they found me but I was like headhunted whereas this I was going in and I was like okay I'm begging you to take me as your next bikini barista so with that being said I hope that this video helps you out I hope that it gives you some insight I've been wanting to film it for a long time I just had laryngitis for a while so I couldn't talk but now I can so with that being said let's get into the video so first of all I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory why I got the job, what was going on in my life when I got the job, and why I, um, like, everything, you know? So, an experience, this is, like, all about the full experience of being a bikini barista, and then I'm gonna get into why I left. So, first of all, I was broken up with over, like, the beginning of summer, and it was one of those experiences where my life was already kind of a shit show, like, I was... I really needed to focus on myself and I really needed to do my own thing and just do something that was like out of the house um but I wasn't at the time it was summer I really needed a job and so like for me I had just gotten dumped I guess I'm gonna explain it this way this is the best way to explain it I had just gotten dumped my ego was super low I felt my self-esteem was to the floor in the basement type feeling about myself like I was not happy with the way that I felt about myself I didn't have really any self-esteem and um I wanted to be a bikini barista for a really long time so they've had one of the locations open for four years so when I was in high school I would drive by and I would tell myself like when you get skinnier you're gonna work there and obviously when you say that and you never take the opportunities it's never gonna happen so for me, I was like, you know what? I have nothing to lose. If I go into this interview and they're like, you're a fat fuck, then whatever. I tried, I was body confident, like whatever. I had nothing to lose at this point. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look up and see how I get a job with them. So I applied for a job. Um, and the way that you do that at this specific company is you DM them on Instagram or on Facebook, but a lot of the time, like, you, like for me, when I went in, I brought, like, a resume. I was so prepared. Um, but what they really look for is, like, someone that's positive, empowered, hardworking. And I do embody all of the things that they were looking for. So I ended up getting the job. And from then on, the experience was amazing. So let me tell you guys right now, I was at rock bottom. Um, not... I was, I was definitely faking being happy because for me, I, I needed something. I needed it to be, it was like my therapy. Like I was making a paycheck and it was therapeutic to me. And that was the best thing about it. School hadn't started yet. So I didn't have anything else going on. Um, so I just like worked and worked and worked. And one of the things that I realized in the beginning was like, this job is amazing because you get to go in there and if someone's having a bad day and they come through the drive through or they come to the walk up, you get to be the person that has a conversation with them that'll change their day. And I know that some places that are bikini baristas do not have that same mentality, but like they literally embody being positive. So like one of the things was like working with a group of girls that 
are on that same level as you that same page and then like having the newcomers when you become more of an og like i wasn't an og but i was definitely not a newbie when i left this uh company and stuff but it was so nice to like come in you know you learn the ropes people are patient with you the managers are awesome and you get to wear a bikini and i think the thing for me is like i learned a lot about myself during this time i learned a lot about other people and how people treat you and um i learned a, i grew a lot during this this like work time because i was able to take the sometimes like there were definitely like 90 percent of the time amazing customers but then 10 percent of the time you'd get the guy that just stares at your vagina and orders a tea so he could come in and like see what you look like but you know his intentions are not like like most people's that come through there um there were so many regulars and that was like one of my favorite things like having someone come through and remember your name and care about your day and ask you if your day is going well and so like having the regular customers was really fun because like you know you start to like you start to like recognize faces and like you know oh that person has a daughter or that person has a dog that's super cute and so it's like it's it's a sense of community and so like working there i'd never had a sense of community because like i worked alone before that my six hour time block of working was six hours of me not thinking about my issues my problems and then it started to like help me because instead of like overthinking and worrying about everything that's going on in life like i was making friends like i still talk to the girls that i work with that i worked with and that's like one of the coolest things like i had never had uh girls that like i could say hey like let's hang out outside of work so i thought that was really cool um and then like wearing a bikini one of the biggest things for me was like i told myself originally that I could never fit in there right but then when you're someone that is I'm probably 200 pounds right now wearing a two-piece bikini you know and you post on Instagram every day and you are in that bikini or you're in the one piece whatever you, whatever you feel like wearing like it's such a an empowering thing because you are loving yourself no one else is putting you down there and it really helped build me back up and I think that if anyone wants to work at a bikini place also the tips are good um, a lot of people don't know you make under minimum wage when you are working there so you have to you like make tips but one of the biggest things is like this the empowerment was what really got me because for me personally like i was at such a low that like i could keep going lower honestly like that was not my rock bottom but like i was getting close to rock bottom um but then instead like i got this job and my experience changed and i made friends and i got to learn what it was like to feel good about wearing your bikini every day and like smiling and like spreading positivity and like being happy and like rather than being locked up in your room or in someone's house taking care of their kids which is like fine for some people but i'm such a social person that i really needed to like during this time in my life like just get out of the house so it was like super therapeutic and one of the reasons why i left though was because my life has been changing a lot recently if you guys have not noticed my life has been like up and down like during the time of working there um i moved out and i went through like a lot of changes and i was having like a rough time with my my mom and like so during that time like rather than having like so much time to think about my issues i was there smiling having fun not on my phone i was getting out and about and like during that time i really needed that because i don't know if you guys remember but i posted a video about how i was cheated on and um i took that video down but during that time that was partly during the time i was working there and so it was nice to just be away from my phone talk to people and you know when you're making drinks time goes by fast you guys you're having fun you're making a paycheck you're making tips like you go home with your tips during that shift so it wasn't like i was you know I don't know how to explain it it wasn't like it was like you would go to work and make that under minimum wage but then like you would get that paycheck like at the end of the month but then you'd also get like a little bonus every time you work because you make tips and i thought that was so cool and that was so fun and then you work with other people and you get to see so many people come through the drive through and then you get to see like so one of the policies they have is like you know you treat women 
empower them and stuff and like i love that because like working there you know i felt like i had something to do i felt like i had a purpose and it was just so awesome because i i originally got the job kind of to just try and see if they would even take me because i didn't think i was good enough to work there and then come to find out like all the girls are so nice and um i realized i would, did deserve to work there and um, I think it really helped me build my confidence and if you guys are interested in working at a bikini barista place like I would just say one of the biggest things is to put your best foot forward be yourself during your interview and know that you are worth it if you don't think you're worth it they're gonna see it but if you don't think you're worth it they're going to see it so if you just put your best foot forward and you're like all right this is what I am this is what I embody this is you know this is me and I want to work here then a lot of the time you'll get the job but for me, like, I had no idea what I was going into, you guys. That was my first real, like, interview that was for a job. So I didn't know the questions that they were going to ask. And um, I wasn't as... I was very prepared. But, like, at the same time, like, I'd never had an interview. So I feel like I was, like, less prepared than someone who's had an interview before. The other thing, too, though, is that when I was working there, it is much different than I expected. So I don't know what I fully expected, but if you don't if you've like already realized that you can't work in a fast-paced environment then it's probably not the place for you but if you are someone that you know knows you can work in a fast-paced environment or you've never tried it I really encourage trying it because for me it was amazing like it got me out of my house it got me to do something to be happy to smile like no matter how shitty my day was certain days I would go in there and the girls would say oh hey Sydney how are you and then like I would start my shift and then I'd talk to all the customers and then my shift would end and I'd take my tips and it was just like a positive cycle all around you know like some places you work at you just are around a lot of lousy people and they just you know you don't have any connection with them but like working there was totally different because I got to know so many things about girls that work there that like I had never experienced before because like I'd never had a job where I worked with other people and so it was so cool to be able to like have that girlfriend mentality you know like and it, I think it also taught me to get closer to my friends that I have normally um, because it showed me the importance of that and I guess that's like my whole experience I do want to touch on a couple like basic things that did occur during the time of working there um, so one of the biggest things is that like you're always gonna have conflict when you're working there i never had conflict with like any of the girls so keep that in mind i like got along with everyone but like one thing i do want to say is like when you're in a business and it feels like it's a revolving door <sighs> of like girls going in and out and like leaving the job and coming um i would just say go into a job like this knowing that you want to stay because if you don't then like for me i had completely different circumstances just because like i was in a completely like like my life <laughs> is like i don't even know how to explain it like school the reason why i ended up quitting so the reason why i had to quit was because i was getting booked for a lot of like modeling gigs if you guys may or may not know that's what i do for fun and I was getting booked for a lot and I couldn't really like make all my shifts so I was getting them covered and then my grades were going down and for me personally like I have a scholarship at ASU so I really need to keep my grades up it's really important to me I ended up having to quit because like modeling was going pretty well and I was getting some more paid like gigs for that which was you know keeping me like to have money to fill up my tank of gas and buy food so I mean I don't need to live a crazy lavish life or anything like that so for me um i decided weighed the pros and cons and i was like Cindy, your grades are going down your grades are so important you're on scholarship like asu is you need to graduate on time you need to deal with this so i ended up putting in my two weeks and then i was let go early um i really don't know what that means when it comes to like references and stuff but that is what happened that is my experience i still go there all the time to get drinks i love all the girls that work there i still talk to a lot of the girls and we're still friends and um yeah like i wanted to share my experience with you guys i hope this helped you out even a little bit if you are someone 
that is struggling in your life right now and you just like want to have a job that's like a fun job where you make money you enjoy what you do and you're a social person like me where you kind of need to get out of the house um and you need your self-esteem boosted i would highly recommend working as a bikini barista or finding a job that's like similar to that because i just feel like it's such a empowering experience i wanted to talk to you guys today about that and i hope that you guys enjoy my channel i hope that you guys like my videos a ton more are coming i took a little bit of a like month hiatus because i was like stressing out about school i quit that because i really needed to get my head back on my shoulders and get back into a routine um i literally have not shaved my legs in a couple days so i need to do that but if anyone needs advice on that you guys can always dm me on instagram and i can tell you talk to you um if you guys are curious about the actual company that i worked at i think there are pictures up on my social media accounts if you guys are interested but i will have the other video linked down below i love you guys so much i appreciate you if you guys want to follow me on snapchat instagram like comment subscribe then i love yeah i would appreciate it i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys later bye babes